Okay, if you would like, we have our fall set up here and we're gonna talk about fall soap, but if you would like to enter to win a free bar of soap, guess what's coming? I'm gonna tell you how to do that at the end of the video, hopefully, if I remember. So today what we're gonna do, maybe you have received a soap scrap sample. And if you received a blue one, inside is fruit looped soap. All of my soaps are handcrafted right here in Marion, Illinois, and most of them have coconut oil, soybean oil, and Can manteca. Yes, we have we have our guest appearance here. Say hello. My name is Creighton and hi. Hi, I am Penny Nelson. Today, What's the 62959 thingy for? That's our zip code because there's more than one Providence Soapery. So this is the soap box. Now, if you have received a, ho a soap scrap sample, there's a paper in it. This is the mesh bag. What you do is you just wash your hands. You can either use the Fruit Loop soap scrap sample by itself like a bar or you can use it inside. Now I have a few, Creighton and I made a few, what we did is we made two things. We made pumpkin gut soap and we made apple crisp soap. Now in the middle of the- We have sandalwood. We do have sandalwood, we do. That's the kind I made. Okay. Can I smell it? In a minute. I have a couple of bars that I call fall soap that are both apple and pumpkin. So I have a few of those available. So let's go over the soap in the soap box, what I have available. If you buy three bars, you can get them for $12. If you need them shipped, the only way I do that is if you buy six bars and then the shipping is $8 because that's what it costs me. And what question did you ask? Oh, he said sandalwood. He said sandalwood. I have sandalwood soap that includes That's real. That's the kind I made. Can real, I smell it? Shh, let me do the commercial, please. You can smell it. It has real sandalwood powder and sandalwood fragrance. We have some of those. That's a more masculine scent. Ah. Oh. And I have one customer whose name is Tony Johnson, and that's his favorite soap. Sandalwood? Is yes. And he was the winner of my last contest. So he followed the directions and he won the free soap because he followed. Do you know how to enter the contest to try to win the free soap, Creighton? We're going to tell you how to do that in just a moment. So I'm going to try to go over these really quick. If you would like to buy soap, this is what, like I can do anything real quick. These are the bars of soap that I have available. We already went over pumpkin guts. Fruit looped and apple Can crisp I keep some soap. Sandalwood? I'm going to go over this really quick. Okay, we also have the Christmas snow soap available. That is putting Christmas in mind. My most popular bar and that is different than the other ones is the Holy Trinity of Oils. It has coconut oil, olive oil, and palm oil. That's the Holy Trinity of Oils and I make hot process soap. It has an, um, it's very bubbly and lathery and it's great for shaving your legs for ladies and it has a little bit of an orange scent to it. It's orange essential oil. We next have the oatmeal lavender soap and we also have the black eyed Susan soap. Now this is the first essential oil that I ever knew about. It's called patchouli and the new ones that I made have mustard seeds. Mm -hmm. I mean poppy seeds in them, but I have a few bars left and this is named after my mother. I have a friend at work that says patchouli smells like hippies and homelessness. Now I have two bars of soap that could be considered for more sensitive skin. They do not have any fragrance oil or essential oil in them and that's why I keep them in the bags. My water alarm's going off so that the smell doesn't mix with it. So I have the honey oatmeal soap, which has real honey from a local Johnson City beehive. And I have goat milk soap, 
We've already talked. I don't talk like goat milk. What about goat milk soap? Still don't like it. Okay. Well, that's we like different things, don't we? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is yeah, the... Yeah, I like water war. Water war has charcoal in it and blue mica, and it smells like a baby. It smells like a baby. It smells really good. And my friend Javon, my grandson Javon, helped me make that. So it looks like for the soap box tour today, the last but not least we have is the clay bubble soap. Now the only thing I claim is that soap cleans because I cannot claim anything else. Um, but this was made with a teen's face in mind. Now there's an old story about essential oil and that type of oil is called Four Thieves. I made my own smell and I call it Reformed Robber. And it's 1%, so it's very gen. Well, see that? I'm not making any claims. So then that's 1%, okay? It also has clay. I don't re And I made a little bit different of a... You can read. If you pause the video, you can read the ingredients on here, okay? So that concludes our soapbox tour. So I was going to... Let me think of what I was going to show you. I don't make any claims. This is a soap that I recently got from a... Um, hotel because Richard and I had a date that was really nice. Do you see how it says natural and non-toxic body care with all the benefits of aromatherapy? That's a bunch of goobly gawk talk, okay? And it's possible that aromatherapy has benefits, but I can't claim any of that. But apparently this company can. All right. So, for the contest, if you would like to try to enter to win the bar of soap, Christmas snow soap, because Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, you are going to send me an email. Do you know what email is, Creighton? My email address is penny, P-E-N-N-I-E, -N -N -E, underscore Nelson at yahoo.com. And that, please um, set, let me know that, it, put it in the subject line that it's soap contest and I will draw a winner eventually. Now, I have never had anyone even take me up on my contest except for the last winner of my contest, so you have a pretty good chance of winning. Now, Creighton, this is the part where you are going to demonstrate your Lego thing. Can you go get your Lego thing so we can, can see I your Can another thing after that? You can. Okay, Creighton is gonna tell you about his Lego creation. Here, right here is my character. I'll show you him. You can't really see his head. Nah. That was an accident. Don't worry. You, this is not a real skeleton. It's just a mask since it's co close to Halloween. It's October 2028th. It is Friday the 9th. Okay, let's show them the rest of this. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. So here's my character, okay. and here's my key. Let's, yes. And what else is I in there? I used a turning Lego right here. Okay, so bring it up so we can see it. All can right. you pause the video? Okay, so here is where coffee mugs are. There's red and blue, and then here's where the coffee starts. This can we thingy, tilt it up so we can see it? This thingy right here is where the coffee comes in. <laughs> you just have to take that off. He always uses this. Mm-hmm. And that's how you turn it on? Uh-huh. It just detects it. Okay. Boom. He has coffee now. And what about this over here? That is the generator right mm -hmm. here. And did you put a rubber band on it? Uh-huh. Let's bring it up so they can see it. Okay. This is one of my trophies. This is just to hold the generator. Okay, the coffee's done getting made. Oh, man. Can I have some? <laughs> Not right now. All right, put it in the frame so they can see it. I'm putting the coffee thing on. Yeah, you can hear us talking. Here is the p character. 
Remember I told you this isn't really a real skeleton thing. His head didn't really, like, get shredded off. It's just a mask since it's close to Halloween. Okay, is there anything else you want to tell us, Creighton? Mm, not really, okay. except here is a little chair for the cat. This? Mm, ah, sorry I kind of moved a bit. Putting that back together. This is what it looks like when it's off. And then you just slide it in this. You keep your cup next to your coffee maker. Little slot. That's a really good creation. Well, thank you for sharing your Lego creation with us today, Creighton. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to back up and show you how I'm doing it. All right, so you want to tell him he just had his breakfast. Saturday is bath day, and you're going to need some soap. Everybody needs What's about... This? That's the soap I got from the hotel that makes their claims, which I don't make. So can you tell them what Saturday is? Saturday is bath day. You're going to need some soap. So why don't you order some Providence soap? Why does the soap look like this? Like that, dots. It, it must have been the mold. Look at me, please. Can you say goodbye? Bye. Okay, can you blow them a kiss for me? Because I'm still in my pajamas and I'm not even going to do it today. All right.